Hello, my name is Kelly McCown. I'm a teacher author and the owner of Teaching Math and More LLC. Today on the Teaching Math and More channel, we are talking about part one of the five part series on how to achieve math mastery in your classroom to help students who are a grade level or two behind in math. Where do you start? The goal of math mastery is to teach your students a deeper understanding of math so that they have acquired the fundamental concepts by the end of the school year. What math skills do you want your students to master? Math mastery is a way of teaching math skills to your students in a meaningful way. Teaching math mastery doesn't have to be stressful or overwhelming. Let's take a look at teaching vocabulary for math mastery in your classroom today. Math mastery is a teaching approach with five parts. Part one is vocabulary, teaching students to engage and make connections in the language of mathematics, developing new understandings of vocabulary, Students learn new math concepts and then tie them to previous math terms that they've already learned. Math is a language that needs to be learned to be mastered. When you learn a new language, you learn to read it, you learn to write it, and you learn to speak it. Do your students know how to read math? Do your students know how to write math? Do your students know how to talk about math? It comes down to this. Do you teach vocabulary? When you learn a new language, you learn to read it, write it, and speak it. You have to practice all three to learn the language. We're going to look at several ways to read, write, and talk about math vocabulary with your students so that they learn how to read, write, and speak math. Reading math vocabulary happens daily for students in math class. They need to understand what they're reading and how often to use context clues by looking at unfamiliar vocabulary words and reading before and after that unfamiliar vocabulary word. You can use a word wall to teach students to read vocabulary words, or you can use vocabulary math centers that involve giving students tasks to read and write vocabulary in context. Another great idea for reading vocabulary is looking up articles about that math term being used in the real world. Writing vocabulary is the next step after reading. Students need to be able to read and write vocabulary before properly talking about it. Having students keep a math vocabulary journal or notebook is a great way to encourage weekly math words being learned. Students learn to use words correctly and provide definitions, facts, examples, and non-examples. On page 12 and 13 of your Math Mastery Guided Notes for this video, you will find this is a vocabulary worksheet you can use. It's easy to assign for grades three through eight math classes. Students should be writing definitions in their notebooks starting as early as third grade. You can use this math vocabulary worksheet in your classroom today. Vocabulary math games are great for talking about math terms. Students can play I have, who has to find about vocabulary definitions, who has a shape with three sides and three angles. Then the student has to look for the student with the triangle note and so on. This is just a fun way to practice using math vocabulary in the correct context in your classroom while talking about it. When teaching vocabulary for the first time, you may have some questions about how it will run more smoothly. Here are some tips that have helped. Number one, choose one word a day or four words a week. Students love and need structure. So find math vocabulary activities that work for your students that provide the math mastery approach and are predictable and consistent. Work on getting a vocabulary routine that's consistent with learning your grade level words that your students need to know by the end of the year. Number two, have students use the word in context. Math terms need to have meaning and using them in context and sentences will help your students develop a deeper understanding of the words. And last but not least, number three, have students compare and use non-examples. This is the best advice for anyone learning highly effective strategies. Compare and contrast has huge learning gains, gains of 45%. Definitely your students need to provide examples of math words and non-examples. This will help them build understanding of math vocabulary. There is a solution to the problem of how to teach vocabulary. Try teaching vocabulary with the right resources. Choose which one is best for your class. Use a math notebook, use a math center, or use a math word wall. You can plan for a deeper level of understanding when you choose the right resource. 
Teaching vocabulary doesn't have to be difficult when you have the right resources. Here are the top three resources for teaching vocabulary. Number one, Math Vocabulary Notebook, where students write weekly terms in their journals with definitions, examples, and non-examples. Number two, using a math word wall can help students create a math mastery of understanding. When students are creating the word wall, they are the ones learning. When the teacher creates the word wall, the teacher's learning. So who is your word wall for in your classroom? Is it for your students or is it for you? Have your students create your word wall in your classroom. This is such a fun activity. I can't speak highly enough about it. Number three, vocabulary math centers are perfect for reading, writing, and speaking math in class. Kids do all three and it's student-centered activities. Links to all these resources are in the description of this video. For more information about the Math Mastery video series, be sure to check out the description of this video. You can grab the notes and resources mentioned in the description of this video below. Thanks for subscribing to our channel, Teaching Math and More, and we will see you next time for part two of the Math Mastery series.